Section 8.5, dilations. What you'll learn to graph dilations and to determine the scale factor of a dilation. New vocabulary, dilation, scale factor, enlargement, reduction. Why learn this? Photos can be enlarged or reduced using scale factors. And a quick check of the skills you'll need. Number one, vocabulary review. The first coordinate in an ordered pair is the blank coordinate. And numbers two through five, graph each point on a coordinate plane. So example one really gets us thinking about dilations um, and also the, this concept of a center of dilation. Find the image of triangle ABC after a dilation with a center A and a scale factor of one half. What we should think of is really the distances from A to C and from A to B. Well, those distances are labeled for us. The length of line segment AC is 16 units and the length of line segment AB is 12 units. So in a dilation uh, with a scale factor of one half, it's almost as though A is connected to C using some sort of line that is 16 units long. And it's like A is just pulling C closer to it at half of the way to A. And so it would stop around here and we know that half of 16 is 8, so we'd have an 8 unit distance. And then something very similar really happens at the same time. A pulls B halfway to it. Um, so half of 12, 6 units. And then we can connect these new values. So A, C prime, B prime, and even though A hasn't moved, we can now think of this new point in our post image as being A prime. Then we connect these to end up with, well, with a big mess. But embedded in that big mess is triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. And you probably guessed, or will in a moment when you think about it, if the distance from C to B was eight units, well, the distance from C prime to B prime after our dilation of one half is going to be half of eight units or four units. For a nicer version of this, let's check out the book's example. A vocabulary tip. You can think of the scale factor of dilation as a multiplier. Well, that's a good tip. And notice the statement at the bottom of the example. Triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is the image of triangle ABC after a dilation with a scale factor of one half. Also note, triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Quick check. Number one, find the image of triangle DEF with vertices D, negative two, two, E, one, negative one, and F, negative two, negative one, after a dilation with center D and a scale factor of two. So I would recommend getting graph paper and plotting triangle DEF on the coordinate plane, consider the center of dilation and the scale factor of two, and work carefully. Example problem two, graphing dilation images. Find the coordinates of the vertices of the image of quadrilateral KLMN, shown at the right, after a dilation with a scale factor of three halves, then graph the image. Now there's something important to note here. Unless a center of dilation is specified in this book, we will assume it's at the origin. So in this problem, we'll be dilating by a factor of three halves from the origin. So we'll consider these distances and really directions are important as well from the origin and then consider each of those just scaling or getting larger by well one and a half times or three halves so each of these will get a little bit longer than they used to be so 
So something like that. Now, to be a little bit more careful, we'll do the work with the coordinates of each vertex here at the left. So step one tells us to multiply the coordinates of each vertex by three halves. That makes sense. So we'll multiply our x coordinate by three halves, in this case to get from negative four to negative six, and then our y coordinate as well by three halves to get from negative one to negative three halves, and repeat that process uh, for vertex L, vertex M, and vertex N to find our post image corresponding vertices and graph something that looks well, at least vaguely similar to what I had represented above with those red lines being extended about one and a half times their original length. Quick check. Number two. A, B, C, D, we can assume is a quadrilateral, has vertices A at the origin, B, 0, 3, C, 3, 3, and D, 3, 0. Find the coordinates of the vertices of the image, which I often call post image, of A, B, C, D after a dilation with a scale factor of 4 thirds, then graph the image. So you'll follow a very similar process to above, steps 1 and 2. Multiply each x and y coordinate by 4 thirds before graphing. A dilation with a scale factor greater than 1 is called an enlargement. The image is bigger than the original. A dilation with a scale factor less than 1 is called a reduction. The image is smaller than the original. And here's an application. Example 3. TRSV shows the outline of a park. A city planner dilates the figure to show the area of the park that can be used for concerts. What is the scale factor of the dilation? Well, one thing we notice right away is that the post-image version, our quadrilateral there in the center, the blue one, T prime, R prime, S prime, V prime, is smaller. So our scale factor is going to be less than one. It's going to be a reduction, right? A type of dilation called a reduction. Now, to find the scale factor, possibly the easiest way to find it is to consider the length of TR in our pre-image and consider the length of T prime R prime in our post image. So TR, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight units long. And T prime R prime, two units long. So notice, what would we need to multiply eight by to get two? Well, that's the same thing as two divided by eight. And so our smaller length divided by our larger length, which reduces to one fourth. I mean, we can see that here on the left. Image over original. So the image length over the original length uh, reduces to our scale factor. So the correct answer choice is B. I didn't even see answer choices, but okay. We'll go with it. A uh, quick check problem. The blue figure at the left shows the outline of a yard. The black figure is a doghouse. The blue figure is a dilation image of the black figure. Find the scale factor. Is the dilation an enlargement or a reduction? And your check your understanding problems, all three of them in this section,